Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the webhook integration. The webhook integration is a part of the alarm system from the vManage itself. Um, to illustrate uh, what it does is, you can see on the screen here, the, uh, we have a VHS deploy at the branch and everything is connected uh, under the vManage to control everything. And if there is some alarm uh, at the site, for example, the site goes down or interface goes down, or maybe a site-to-site -site tunnel goes down, the vManage will detect that and then it sends the alert um, to the external system. Currently we have uh, two ways to do it. The first way is the traditional way which is the email notifications. Uh, it is normal email sent out from the vManage to the email gateway. The other option is we support the webhook integration. So what webhook does is the vManage once it sees the, uh, the alarm from from the system, it sends the post message, the post API to the web service. This is called webhook integration. So once the web service receives the, um, the post message from the vManage, which contains the alarm message, then we can play a lot of things uh, from the web service. Uh, in this example, we're going to push it uh, to another system, third-party system, such as the WebEx team. It is a messaging system from Cisco or LINE. It is a common messaging system used in Thailand and uh, Microsoft Team or even SMS Gateway or even the email address. Right, so this is an example. If you have the iPhone uh, running and uh, there's something happened to your system, uh, the webhook will send it to our messaging system. Uh, once it's received the message, then it puts here uh, that now the uh, the tunnel is down. So then you can know from your messaging system. So uh, let's see how we configure that. All right, we are at the we manage. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, go to settings to. Uh, set up the email notification first because the webhook is under the email notifications. If you don't have the email uh, system to the email gateway to send, you just put anything. In my case, I use uh, my email address to send it out um, as a gateway. Then after we configure the email notifications, we go to the um, alarm, monitor alarm, and then we click on the email notifications. I already created the notification rules. Uh, let's take a look at that. So uh, I set the severity, critical, uh, medium, minor, and major for the interface admin state change. This is the email that I'm going to receive. And uh, if you want to enable the webhook, then you click on webhook, and then you and then you put the username like test and test. You put the URL HTTP. Uh, test dot um, config b dot com slash webhook here, and then you can select the device here. If you want to select everything, you just click on all device. If you want to select some specific device, you can choose here, and that's it. You can just click update, and then. On the vManage, it is done. So now you need to go to the web service and then you need to create the web service by yourself to receive the web hook from the vManage. If you are interested in how to build the web service for the web hook, you can visit the devnet.cisco.com. It has a lot of information that is useful for you to build the web service there. So for today, thank you very much for watching.